Good morning, folks. What you are looking at is a NASA animation of the different water movement in our oceans. Now, I've sped this up considerably, but the real speed version and the accompanying article will be below. This is a great article about a sun-like star not too far away. Looks a bit like our own solar system. This one has nine planets. Damage reports from yesterday's Oklahoma tornado are still coming in. Apparently the hail may have been the worst part of that, and there are continued chances of severe weather for that general region today. Scott from Hyper Report shared this story yesterday, and if you hadn't heard about the U.S. credit downgrade, you certainly weren't alone. While none of the so-called reputable sources yet make this claim, the alternative sites are alight with talk of a potential Obama media blackout on the event. Having a look at global geological events from yesterday, the Krakatoa volcano erupted. South of India on the Carlsberg Ridge we had a moderate earthquake. China's actually seen a few of those this morning, a couple of four-pointers. There was also a few above average quakes in the Atlantic, the largest just a few hours ago, a 5.8 near Ascension Island. You may remember we were looking for a CME impact, it either missed or was very weak. There's not much seen here on the solar wind except some moderate density seen in the orange. Up here on the red is the BZ and you can see it tipped south below the dotted line at some point last night, not majorly. The Ovasian Prime seems to suggest that there was a weak impact rather than a miss. You can see some minor electron precipitation, but that could also be from a separate flux event. The Earth footprint moved here at some point yesterday afternoon and there was a tiny flare in CME from that region which is turning a limb. That may be what accelerated the particles seen on Ovation Prime. You can see the eruption a little better here on Soho. Lastly folks, that corona hole has set the geoeffective solar wind stream in motion and we have about two or three days until she arrives. For those who have forgotten, around the time that ends, Saturn is in opposition directly behind the Earth from the Sun. And the highest upcoming quake watch begins Friday and goes through next Wednesday. That's the news, folks. Be safe.